So far in the shop, we have made the 1,000 litre African River tank, the 150 green neon Tetra tank, the four foot discus blackwater tank, and the tequila split fin live bearer tank. I need you. I put the dirty bucket, I left the dirty buckets there, but I put the clean buckets. But today we are gonna be making this um, tank. Aren't we, Matt? Yeah. <laughs> We've got this awesome, oh, let me show you close. So the guys have made this cool little background thing. Believe it or not, this isn't solid stone. What is it, Matt? Floor tiles. Floor tiles, yeah. cheeky. Yeah. It's good, it's it? such a, It's such a good look. Let me come to the side to reveal all. Just a, hey? just a nasty bit of plywood. <laughs> <laughs> so the idea being is that the, uh, the cabinet for the Fluval Sienna, which is one of the first ones, isn't it? Yeah, I believe so. I think they've had it on test in a couple of stores in the UK, but this is like the first proper one in the UK, I think. I mean, by the time this goes out, probably not. Yeah, probably not, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, they'll probably, everyone will have them by yeah. then. What are they talking about? Yeah, I think they've had them on test in two stores and they've sold a couple, but these, this is the proper, this is the first one of the proper, proper delivery. Okay, that is the cabinet. Yeah. That is the glass. We're going to obviously unbox it and build it all in a second, but the idea is that we've got the stone look at the back because it's a concrete style cabinet. Is that right? That's it, yeah, yeah, yeah. So and also ties in, doesn't it, Matt, then? Yeah, that's it. We've got wood and wood with the 110. Yeah, the 110 here has got the wood backing. A little bit rustic. Yeah, I love that. I do, I really love this look. <laughs> and then this is going to be the more sort of clean and modern look, just to show what it looked like in situ, I guess. Yeah. Even though we're in a tin shed. Yes. <laughs> Should we build it? Let's do it. Oh, I'm, <laughs> this is going to... I hope it's one of those easy to build ones. I hate flat pack building. I'm already not looking for it. That's why, that's why I normally sort of give the staff the flat pack to do, because <laughs> I hate it. But it'll be fine. Yeah, the staff are doing real work, so we can do this stuff. We, we'll, we'll figure it out. We're doing real work. It's, it's real work. This is real work, to be fair. <laughs> we currently got video inception here. Matt's videoing <laughs> for his channel, and I'm visit, videoing like the main thing. Matt, we need to check your ISO because that looks really bright. It's only 640. Oh yeah, it's good. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so I think they've opened it to check that it's okay. Well, that's a good idea. Yeah. You know. Good. Oh. Hey, I'll tell you what, we can use these polystyrene. That's screaming to be a bit of war amateur in. Oh, look at that bit. Look at me. I don't know what this is. We've got a little drainage board. <laughs> <laughs> Cups and stuff. Oh my god, look. Ooh. Just look at that lot. Oh, yeah. there's so much building. Oh. <laughs> uh, I, where do we... <laughs> where do we even start? Probably with the instructions. Let's start at the end. <laughs> this, this sheet here. Oh, I hate... No, 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 no. no it's a new cabinet. We're going to do this blind. No, we're definitely, <laughs> we're definitely not. <laughs> Right, the cabinet's been built. It looks really nice. Look at that. Really plush. Um, it's supposed to have that gap before anyone says. <laughs> it looks darker in the middle than it is because the camera can't sort of pick it up. But look, really quality. Well done, Fluval. Nice little basket for putting like, you know, your knives and forks. Uh, got a little hook here for your tea towels. You could do all the washing up in yeah, here. To be fair, if you've got a mini plate, you could have a little chair, knives and forks, <laughs> and you could eat your dinner there right in front of your fish tank. I think that's a great idea. I'm, I'm sold on it. Oh, fish tank dining. There is that. Uh, there is that that restaurant, isn't yep. there? That's full of. We need, yeah. we need to find out where that is. There's an idea. Yeah, there's an idea. Oh. <laughs> um, right. So I guess now we need to get all the tank out and everything. Martin's at the ready with that. I don't know why. Why? Just to transfer it, get it higher. Yeah, and to lift that box out of the way so you can then get the cabinet up in place. See, and then always the tank's, thinking. The these tank's on top of a power cabinet. You can slide it straight onto the cabinet. The level of logic between these two minds is yep. insane. Um, but We've yeah, let's do it. Job too long. Yeah, yeah, you guys have done this so many times, haven't you? And I just want to cover this again so everyone knows. The reason I don't ever do any of this heavy, li heavy lifting is because I'm not insured, okay? And I'm sticking with that. Sure, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that is right. legit. That is legit. It, it is, it, yeah, I suppose it's a logical answer. I think it's a cop out. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, it's true. <laughs> okay, that went Crushed fingers alert. <laughs> 
space, Pivot. <laughs> Look at how nicely it ties in with your background. Like, oh, oh, this is not quite straight yet. We're going to wait till the tank's on water and all that before we get the all of this adjusted because it will inevitably move slightly so you have noticed the bottoms actually it could be just the perspective on the camera does it look good for you martin by eye or does it need adjusting i think it needs adjusting a bit that it bottom kind of looks like the bottom door pinched in slightly pinched in slightly yeah we'll sort that later or we'll forget by about <laughs> by about two mil it's nothing yeah okay cool. glass oh my good like it looks so good well we're going to talk about it more in a minute but straight away the the quality of everything is oh, I'm so impressed. Yeah, I the really glass am. It's really nice where they polished it along these edges as well. Polished glass. Yeah, that's smooth edge, yeah. It's all rounded. Yeah, it's is really that smart. not rubber? It's no, so no, smooth it's... it feels like rubber. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Love like that. that. Are you filming me filming you? I'm filming you filming. Filming me, <laughs> filming you. Uh -huh. <laughs> Three, two, one, hit it. Are we ready? We're ready. We should stop talking about turkey twizzlers. Look at that. Oh, look at the plushness of that silver edging. And just so you guys know, it does come yep. with this filter. Doesn't it, Matt? It comes with the filter. Yeah, filter, light units, heater. Yeah, oh, really? Everything. Absolutely everything. Yeah, wow. Yeah. What Ready a deal. Rock and roll. For a grand, yeah? Uh, this one, I think the, the smaller one is a thousand pounds. So that's a 200 and something litre. And then this one's a 1200, I think. Okay. All oh, right. So yeah, it's, yeah. Bigger tank. Yeah. Going to be dearer, isn't it? I've got the honours of the first one. I'm going to peel hang it on, off. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Take that out. Do I have to? Well, I think it'll peel better. There we go. Yes, it will. You're right. <laughs> I didn't know how simple that was going to be, but it turns out it was very appealing. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> I just want it off. Look at it. Oh. That is nice. Good job. None of this B-roll cinematic rubbish. <laughs> Matt's now fitting these little tubey things in here. <laughs> Tub tubey things? On my channel, they're not tubey things. They're filter inlet and outlet. Oh, yeah. On, on my your channel, they're, 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 they're tubey, tubey things. things. <laughs> so this come up from the bottom, obviously, and that means that you... Uh, uh, what's the benefit, would you say, Matt? Uh, so the priming's easier. So you'll find that priming the pump is really simple. It just drops, the water drops straight through the bottom of the tank. Um, and also the, what was the other thing I was going to say? Oh, the pump doesn't really have to work as hard because there's no up and over. It's just a simple straight up and through the bottom of the tank. So yeah, it's a little bit cleaner, a little bit tidier. Um, some people worry about them leaking. Like loads of people are like, <gasps> drilled the bottom of the tank. I've never had one leak in, I don't know how long, well, 15, 16 years of working in the trade. I've never had one back for leaking. So yeah, yeah. you'll be so, fine. Yeah, here is the filter. It's just a filter. <laughs> Fluval have got it done it quite well to be fair. Uh, so that all comes off. That comes off the top. And it's all sort of modulated, would you say, inside, Matt? I yeah, think that's a yeah. good word. Like, oh, I just dropped yeah, something. Yeah. yeah, so this all slots out together, this all comes out together, you know. Yeah, pretty, pretty good stuff. And Matt is just plumbing in underneath there so that we can then slot the pipes straight onto the top of that. And then we can fill it up with water. Well no, we can scape it first, can't we? Yeah, let's scape it. <laughs> Right, the filter's in, the lights are on top. Matt, hit it. Oh, 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 that's a good level of light. Yeah, I think so. Yes, yeah, nice. Definitely a good level of light, and it's covering everywhere because it comes with these two lights, which are basically plant freeze, are they? Yeah, they're plant 3.0s in a different body, supposedly. So, okay, um, let's, let's escape. We can escape. We can escape. Uh, these are going to be in the way. <laughs> no, that's all right. We put them, put them all in the back. So much. It's a good sized tank you can see here. So what we're going to be going for is a big initial rock structure, all coming out from one perspective point as best as we can. We're going to try that, um, <laughs> and we'll see how long that lasts and how difficult it truly is. Yeah. Considering the fact I didn't bring any any like glue and stuff. Um, uh, that's okay. That's okay. We don't cheat. We don't cheat. We, <laughs> right. First of all, we're going to need a base layer in so our rocks can sit on something 
Have we got the bags we can put gravel in? Yeah, we've got the bags, yeah. We've put some big bags in there. Let's do it. Yeah. So we're going to go and get some big gravel from the garden centre next next door, because like Matt says, there's no point in using expensive stuff to just as ballast, was the word. That was the word I used, yeah. <laughs> to fill out that Let's whole area. <laughs> so we've got these media bags. We're going to go get some big gravel. Big gravel. Big gravel. <laughs> I didn't even know this lot was here. This could be, <laughs> this could be revolutionary. <laughs> there's loads of gravel here. Oh, that's what we got. Oh, look, there's me looking at the dirty bags when there's just yeah, very clearly pictures showing what each one is. God, I'm loving these cobbles. We've got big cobbles. Yeah, that stuff should be good, that pea gravel. Yeah. So there's that coarseness, or there's Metal. that coarseness. We might as well get, it's more malleable, Malu is that the malleable, word? Malleable, yeah. I think if we get this one, you can actually use it to place rocks in. Yeah. Done. Ah, and it says fish safe. Friendly. Or just, fish friendly, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Shopping. Can you turn it around and skate it for me, please? No. Come on. It's got all movie wheels. So? I'll break my neck. <laughs> you used to be so much more hardcore. And now you're thinking of consequences. Yeah, I do now. You used to jump like 50 foot on BMX bikes. Yeah. And you're like, no, it's got movie wheels. Yeah, I can't do it. <laughs> it might fall over. Yeah, yeah you, you, got, you got You got. You can't be out of work. You've got mortgage, you've got yeah, a kid, you know. It, isn't it? <laughs> go on, do it. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. go, go, go. Now's your chance. That's so poor. <laughs> right, lazy fish keeping 101. We really can't be, I was going to swear. We really, <laughs> we really can't be bothered to clean this. It doesn't look that dirty. No, I don't think it's going to be that bad, to be fair. It's going to be so far buried. Yep. There's extra nutrients, and yep. the filter's going to clean it up. I'm just making it. You've got AccuClear, haven't you? Yeah, got AccuClear. API, API AccuClear, yeah. wow, wow. It'll be uh, fine. It'll be absolutely fine. Let's just get it in there. Let's get it in. Let's get it in. Get it in. It'll be fine. <laughs> well, let's get it in those bags first. Oh, yeah, let's oh, not just pour it straight in. Got to put it in these bags, and then those can get stacked. So we've uh, decided it might be a good idea to rinse these out and uh, I think you can now see why. Yeah, I might need to find somewhere else to rinse them out. So this... look, show it initially. So this one here look, is how it looks. I don't think it needs rinsing out, it's going to be fine. Yeah, it'd be all right. and, oh. and then it does that. <laughs> Definitely needs rinsing out. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be here a while, aren't we? Uh, maybe. <laughs> if we just get them flat, flatten them down. Yeah. It's actually a good way of cleaning them, isn't it? It's a good way of cleaning sand. So these are now sand cleaning bags as well. Or maybe not sand. Yeah, travel. I was gonna say, won't the sand don't just do, come out, don't Matt? Do sand. <laughs> <laughs> so the reason that we're putting these bags in here is they're gonna act as a cushion for all the rocks to sit on top of. And it's gonna enable us to sort of indent into them, hold some shape whilst we're you know, just fully building. It's gonna take a while and we need to make sure we've got that secure base without everything falling over smashing the bottom of the aquarium <laughs> yeah we don't want that are you opening that or not uh it i don't know if they reopen once you pull them tight oh so, no <laughs> someone someone's tied a knot in the middle i untied I my knot when you say someone i we, mean you we know it's me yeah right okay <laughs> cut <laughs> So I think we just need to scatter in front of these. We've got a fourth bag here, but we don't need it in the bag, but it was really good for being able to clean in. So that's, that's something learnt today, isn't it? Yeah. These media bags are brilliant for cleaning. Cheap pillowcases, that's what we need. Oh, right, okay. Well, Works we've got... for sand then. Oh yeah, sand for that, and then these for the... No, not there. No, in the foreground, right. foreground. Oh, no, so we're trying to do. Yeah, I was getting there. Look at that. Be there we go. Might even need another bag washed, Matt. Yeah, to be fair. See how it goes. I think that's good to start with, isn't it? Yeah, we've got plenty there to get work and get some rocks in anyway. Yeah. You won't see any of these stones, guys, just so you know, because that's not the prettiest of stuff. Unless it goes with the rock, if you, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Sweet. Now, have we got Sirius stone? Because I'm, I'm hoping that you've yeah, thought sold, ahead and you've, you've got some. We've sold out. We've <laughs> gone. Okay, yeah. that's the end of the video. See you next time. <laughs> We've got loads. We've got loads. Well, hopefully. Um, okay, box. yeah, we've got one box full, two, two box fulls, three, three box fulls, layer of stone, different. Oh, 
Oh, that's some and nice a full stone. Box stone. Full box stone. A there. full box stone. A full box stone. A full box full. A box full. Let's go. Let's just. I think right now, cut to us messing about for four hours <laughs> with, with rocks and just. Oh, this is where we need Danny, don't we? Yeah. No, because then it'd be. It'd be four days. days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so so far, look, this is not the shape, structure, whatever. This is just getting stuff in. Uh, we can start moving it around. Do a bit of a time lapse now, Matt, because this is going to take a while. It's going to be moving a few rocks and changing it about, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, because then you can bring back into here. Yes, perfect. Perfect there, Matt. Except for that. That staple needs to come out. There's a label on the back of it as well. There's and labels then, on all of these. And then that one up there, like we were saying. Yeah. We've got some great perspective. It's just quite cool, isn't it? Bit, it does. Very different. What do you think, Martin? Come around. Yeah, you want to come view you, You're in the wrong angle. Right, so it's probably hard to see our vision at the moment. We were going to be doing lots of rocks coming out, but they're all sort of short and stubby. It's just not going to work. So we're going to do it with the wood instead. It's going to be still even more playing around than what we're doing here. Um, but you can see what we're going for, line, line line all coming out from a single perspective point i don't normally do skates like this but we wanted to go for something different didn't we matt yeah i think it'll be uh, a nice little yeah a nice little hint to something a bit different not rocks wood and well it ground. is rocks wood yeah but it's different it is a bit different, different. It creates yeah. a bit more tension doesn't it <laughs> <laughs> okay we'll just carry on going until it's done and then in three two one so we are ba oh were you going to say something um yeah what did i say i have to do at three o'clock today uh, Go to the doctors. Yeah, yeah. Uh oh. It's alright, it's 22. Fine. Okay, we've got time, we've got time. I've got to go in a minute though. Okay. So let's talk about it. Oh, what was that? That was Bill Woods. Fine. Okay. We've, <laughs> we've just finished lunch, we've come back. Here's where we've settled so far, and I think it's looking awesome. And thank you, Matt, other Matt, for the new addition to the tank. Let me move the tag. Which it is better, the. It looks better without the tag, look. The off roading machine. That looks great. Coming up it. <laughs> that does anyway, look cool. Is, it does, but without obviously without the uh, without the <laughs> tractor. Um, so we've got like real good perspective and booms going on. Um, do you know what I mean by that? Booms. Booms. Like the it's like booming out from this corner. Oh, like a like an explosion. Yes, that's okay, right. Cool. That's what we're going for. Everything's angled like that. We're yeah. going to put some sand on top now of all of this, and that'll be our sort of planting area. Area. <laughs> yeah, and okay. then this big thick one here, we can separate it so it looks like several pieces by planting a Nubius or Booster Phalanger or something along that line. Um, you getting me? Yep. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Because make it more striated. Yeah, at the moment that middle section is just very big, you know? It is, yeah, it's quite imposing. And we've got time as we're doing this to move about some of the different points and that, but we thought it was a good idea just to get them in. Now we can put the sand in, tidy it all up a bit. So there we are, there's the sand added. Now we want to add some details around some of the rocks in the wood section with some scatter gravel. Really easy to do, just chuck it in and let it sit where it wants to sit. I wanted to brush some of the sand off, but I can't because we can't find a brush, but never mind. There wasn't one. There wasn't one. No. I'll, I'll see if I can find one in a minute. It doesn't matter, we don't need to. The, the thing is, you can do, spend ages doing that, or when the water's in there, you can just wave it. Yeah, that's <laughs> it's fine. fine. It's fine. That's a valid comment. <laughs> Right, Matt's just been quickly to get some checkups for his baby, and he hasn't seen the tank, what I've just done to it, which was obviously, you know, we've done all the scatter gravel, filled it with the sand. What do you think? Oh, yeah, it's all right. Man. No, he's already seen it. <laughs> That's amazing. His first, his first reaction was, oh, ooh. Yeah, that, that looks quality. <laughs> yeah, it looks good, oh, doesn't it? Sorry, sis. So I didn't go over the top with even more detail stones because we're going to be putting some little plants and tufts. We're going to keep the planting quite sort of low level, aren't we? Yep. Going to keep it like... Yeah, a, a bit minimalist, a bit... Like, yeah. this, this just explain, like so, some short dwarf hair grass, yep. maybe some Liliopsis brasiliensis. And then we're thinking that inside side all these sort of cracks and crevices, we can put a merino ball. Merino or merimo? Merimo. Mo, because it's like the lamb ball. Merimo balls. Yeah. 
Now you've made me question. Algae yeah. balls. <laughs> algae balls. Moss balls. Moss balls, that's the one. Moss balls. But they won't be in ball form. They won't be in ball form because we undo the ball and then we can just glue them all along. Right. We've I got need some cool mosses coming tomorrow as well. Oh, we have got yeah, mosses, loads of mosses. So there might be some cool mosses in amongst it that work as well. We've got some good options, especially for at the back here. Maybe to have something looping over to go with that. We're not sure if it's going to be Val yet or Cryptocrine. What was it? Balance 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Balance yeah. I've got so, some big yeah. ones at home as well. Yes, I? Yeah, so I think I... that's a sh I think that's the yeah. That that's would look it. cool. I'll bring them in and we'll do them in there. Because if we put Val in, it's going to take over. Yeah, I think. Well, giant Val would. I think like the. Um, the Asiatica or the Spiralis would be okay. They're a little bit smaller. So True. I reckon they could work quite well because they're quite narrow leaf. The Gigantia would just be like... Gigantic. Yeah. <laughs> so you may have noticed we've not put any soil or anything like that in this, in this one. That's because we're not going heavy on the planting that's you know going into the sand. But we will dot root tabs everywhere. We are going to be doing the planting so there'll be enough nutrients. Um, it's not even going to look like this by the time we're done. No. Um, I need to go home now, but what I need you guys to do... Have you glued the wood in? That's exactly what all I was right, just about okay. to say. That is the job. We need to make sure this is all secure because that stuff is so buoyant. This is proper, proper bog wood, isn't it, Yeah, Matt? this is, yeah, proper, proper. And it just, oh, that would be disaster for all of that to lift up. <laughs> I've, I've had it, I've had it done. Slightly funny. Funny, yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the chances of us getting it right again, we'd have to start, no, it's not, just glue it down. Go nuts with the glue. Go nuts with the glue. Okay, yeah. there's plenty of hard points to go from like, yeah. like we've put rocks on the top there that it can go to that one can go to that piece and then there's that to that to that to that so there's plenty of places to lock it down and yeah. if we need to we can also put another rock somewhere around there if you really do need to weigh it down but when we fill it up i suggest we do it very slowly yeah. just pay well, close what attention we can, do is we can spray the rocks the wood tonight as well we'll um, soak all the wood tonight with a little spray mist so we're just discussing fish aren't we mm. and so we're looking at we're hoping to get 50 of the dwarf puffers. What is it? You call them pig puffers. Pig, you call them pig puffers. Yeah, I call them little pigs. Little pigs. Yeah, <laughs> they are like. Or murder beans. Murder beans. Yeah. Yeah, so. Because they kill everything in a tank that's smaller than them. Yeah. yeah, they're not too bad, to be fair. They're actually, you know, keep them in a tank and don't feed them enough, and then they do go on the hunt. But generally, if you feed them well, they're okay. So we're thinking 50 if they're small, maybe 30 if they're big, adult, full exactly, size. Exactly, yeah. And then you're thinking a nice little school of something with them. Yeah. And we were thinking, and Martin said this as well, was the glow light Danios. Yeah. Just because they're fast movers, they're interesting, they school quite well, yeah. and they're the right size so they don't get killed. Exactly, yeah. They're not going to be too big, so they're not going to bully the uh, dwarf puffers, and they're not too small that they're going to get nipped. So yeah, I think that would work a real, yeah, work really, really well. We'll probably change our mind four times between now and then. That is the issue, yeah. It might not even be puffers yet. No, no, this, the <laughs> delivery on Tuesday might absolutely bomb and then we've got nothing. Oh yeah, that's a point. Yeah. Well, in which case, you're not going to see this, so we might as well stop talking. Yeah, well, yeah, this might not end up in. <laughs> that's literally it, let's get it stuck down. Plants are coming tomorrow? Hopefully, yeah. Okay, let's cut to tomorrow. Hello. All right. <laughs> so I've doing? just walked in, walked over. From side on, I was like this, and I was thinking, <laughs> Um, <laughs> not sure about this, but what, tell us what you've done, Matt, overnight. So, yeah, overnight we uh, mist sprayed it with the hose pipe, closed all the covers, um, left the lights on a little bit so that they heat up the aquarium, and hopefully that's warmed up that aquarium and made it essentially sweat overnight. The wood you're yeah, talking about? The wood. Yeah, yeah, not just sweat. Not Get that water right into it, which exactly. means there's less air in it, which means it's going to be less buoyant. Hopefully, but what else have we done? Glued it. When I say we, I mean you. Yeah, I glued it a lot. Yeah, <laughs> and my fingers. So yeah, that is like it feels to touch like everything's locked in, but you never know with these things. No. And uh, it might be very scary as we're filling it up, but if we do it steadily, we can just see what's going on. If we need to put yeah. some more rocks on, we can. Hopefully, yeah, we can react to it starting to float. But the good news is. The plants have arrived, haven't they? We have. We've Matt messaged me like 20 minutes ago. Plants yeah. are here. I got in the car, drove all the way down here. Uh, let's have a look at the plants. Fly at you. Go. Hey. <laughs> that, was, that wasn't quite what I was imagining. But. <laughs> you look flying. Right. Here we go. Fresh plants. Now, not all of these plants are going to be for us. Uh, Amazon swords that are twelves, the big boys, the black Ali. Whoa! So yeah, Amazon stories. Amazon <laughs> stories. That's <laughs> <Like> one. <laughs> Not waking Amazon, up yet. Amazon swords. Yeah, how do you say it? Blahari. 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 Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. One of those. 
whichever you want. Javas. Javas. We're not doing Javas. Ooh. That's what we want. Did you bring in yours? I didn't because I didn't know if we were going to go with it. So, but they're big. They are quite big. They're yeah. bigger than. This well, is not Crypt than Balancia. Balance. Yeah. But, yeah. Balance. One of those. Uh, Crinkled leaf Crypt. Yep. Next. That might be a nice one. Anubius Hastafolia. Nice. Again, we're not going to use Anubius. And then there's a lot of stem. Oh, oh hair, hair there grass. There we go, hair grass. And a hydrocottle there, isn't there? Uh, yeah. That could be an idea. But that hair grass mm. is going to work a treat. All of the hair grass done. All of the hair grass. <laughs> um, yeah, and then we've got more hair grass, but that's the smaller one, the parvula, I think oh, it yeah, is. Oh yeah, we can bring that in the foreground a bit. Ideal. That's some stems. I mean, obviously this doesn't look great in these. Obviously we're not showing them off at the moment, but we will in a minute. Um, and then... That's probably the plants that we want in there, actually, isn't it? I reckon so. Oh, we... no, hang on. I know what's in here. What is in here? Plus I never. I didn't think we were doing a plant unboxing today. Yeah, I know, um, isn't it? That's a, nice, that's a little, little bonus for everyone. Look at <laughs> all the mosses. Yeah, okay. Wicked. Tons of mosses. That's the, that's the smaller vowel that you were talking about yeah, as well, isn't it? Yeah, that's the smaller vowel. Okay. Them. I think we go with the crypt instead of the vowel, though. I think so. I'm not a massive fan of that twirly stuff. Oh, no. that one's, that's the straight stuff. That's the straight stuff, yeah. That's called spiralis. Okay, but it's not... But it's not spiral, <laughs> so, you know. Whoever named that one. Maybe his name was Spiral. <laughs> Dr. That's, spiral. Yeah, that's Booses. Okay, cool, we're going to use some Booses, aren't we? Maybe. 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 Okay, They're maybe. rounded leaf, aren't they? I don't know, do we need to oh, go yeah. all spiky? And some Ludwigia, super Ludwigia red. Ludwigia and... Oh. What's that, Anubius? No, it's more Booses. More Booses. Okay. Lamandau. We'll lose it. We'll use a little bit for some details in the foreground, I reckon. It'll be nice. But we've also got the Marimo balls. Yep. And that... we've got loads of plants that have already arrived the other day. So yeah, we've got tons to choose from. We've got loads, haven't we? We're going for short plants, apart from the tall crypts, right in that yeah. back section. Because I think there. those will be better because they're chunkier than mine. Mine are really elongated and like really long, whereas those are going to actually sit perfectly in that tank. I mean, the way you say that though, long. Could look good coming style. up over. Yeah, I could go get them. We'll see. We'll, we'll see how we get minutes, on. We'll see how we get, just go get them. We'll see how we get on. Let's yeah. just get some planting going. Um, let's go. So we spent the next 15 minutes taking apart these Cryptocoryne Balansi uh, plants. You can see over here, they've got quite a good group of them. Now I forgot to turn the microphone on, so that's why I'm voiceovering this. <laughs> So annoying when you do that. But yeah, right in that back corner there, that's where we want to put them sort of looping over to the left in the stream or the flow. So there's quite a lot there and it's quite a lot in one area, but we just want to keep more of a plain look elsewhere. And that's why we're going for dwarf hair grass all in the foreground area as well. You can see Matt here just putting them on his ears for some, I don't, I don't know what he was doing there. Anyway, <laughs> we haven't got a huge amount of it, but we only want a little bit for detail. So we're just gonna plug it down into the substrate, round in little areas, and it'll just give it a natural look, I think. Okay, so <laughs> the crypt is done. We've now added all those awesome little bits of detail there. We've got, what do we use in the end? Taiwan moss. Taiwan moss, yeah. And the Marimo balls, just in little gaps everywhere. Yeah. Added quite a lot of green, and we've got the hair grass just sprouting out of little areas. And, you know, every part of us wants to just go nuts now and add hundreds more plants to the background, but we're not doing that. This one's got to be different. We're going for this more minimal look. You know, the crypts are going to grow in, the moss will grow in a lot more as well. And as it does grow, you can trim bits off and stick them to other bits. But I think if we go more plants, we're going to use, lose this cool hardscape look, aren't we? Yeah, we want that. That's the imposing feature. You don't want to lose it with all the greenery. So I think it's the best way. I think we've got to stop now, hold ourselves back. Let's just fill it up so we can't do any more. <laughs> Good shout. <laughs> Everything's going to be wrong on this video, Danny. Yeah, because the colour will be wrong, the the microphone will be wrong, you never mix it, the lighting will be wrong. MD will find something to moan about, won't he? <laughs> of course, you, can hear you, you know what he likes. <laughs> yeah, as long as I can see everything and hear everything, I'm alright. So we're here, MD didn't want to come this evening because he's got better things to do, or lazy is lazy, supposedly the consensus from everyone. But we have got... He's got water changes to do. <laughs> he doesn't do his own water changes. <laughs> but we have got the new pygmy puffers in. Um, so we've got the new Fluval Sienna, 
that we've set up. Uh, he'll be in hopefully over the next few days to put some fish in it. But we have just received some of the little pygmy puffers. So I'll spin you around and show you. I think we've got a little bag of 20 here and we've got a few more dotted about. So I'll show you them now. So it's an absolute nightmare to uh, get them focused because obviously they're in a bag, in a tank. Um, but yeah, they are. That's 20 of the little guys in this little bag here. You can sort of see them buzzing about. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get them out. And then the next time you'll see them, Hopefully they'll be buzzing around in a really beautifully planted, well, hardscaped I suppose, not planted, Fluval Sienna. <laughs> no, where are you going? Oh, uh, it has been exactly a week since we planted the tank. As you've seen, the peas are in. They're here, no, they're here. They're not in here. They're not in. We're yeah. going to put them in. That's what we're doing next. That's the point of this video. <laughs> <laughs> but we've got an issue. And the issue is, Matt, it's a bit cloudy. A bit it's, cloudy. it's not too bad. It no. looks fantastic. Yeah, I just want to say, it looks bad. so cool. And you've added that light in the back. Look. Yes. Yeah, look yeah. At, so if we come around here, yeah, that might blind you. The, <laughs> it's like a strip that uplights it. What a great idea. Love that. It looks so good. Yeah, it just makes it brighter at the back. It just, yeah, really makes the tank pop. I want to see the fish in. Yeah. Um, but we'd, yeah, we'll do a quick water change on it. The cloudiness is literally going to be just from that massive amount of bogwood we've got in there. It's going to leach for a while. Now you've got like purigen and carbon in, in the filter, haven't you? But it's yeah. just the sheer size of it, it. It'll be a while of water changes before it is perfect. Probably enough a week, if I'm honest. Yeah, it'll just, it's nothing bad. We've tested all the parameters, all the parameters test up fine. So it is just a little bit of... It's aesthetics. For the reveal, for the fish going in, we want it crystal clear. So we're going to do 100% water change right now. 100%? Oh uh, yeah, we'll go big. We'll Mostly go big. 100, nearly we'll 100. We'll use mature water off of one of our other tanks. So. Okay, yeah, sweet. And that, that should look really good. Go. Right, we're filled back up. Um, it's, it's better. Yeah. It's, better. it's not crystal, but it, well, actually on camera it is. Yeah, we'll yeah. go with that. It's crystal clear. Yeah. Um, it would have been if someone had disturbed the gravel. Oh yeah, I pointed the uh, <laughs> I pointed the inlet hose at one point right in this middle section and just oh, it went everywhere. But um, okay, so we're now ready to put in the first fish mat, aren't we? Yep. We can put in some pea puffers first. Do we put pea puffers? No, we'll wait for the pea puffers. I don't know what I just <laughs> said then. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's start with the really interesting fish. The really interesting fish. Yeah. Which ones are those? The, they're made, you can drink out of them. Oh. No, you can't, but you would make... See through them. You can see through them. They make a great window, not a great door. Yes, let's put in <laughs> the glass catfish. Not catfish. Let's put in... <laughs> let's put... Let's put in the glass fish. fish. <laughs> Ropey, Roperson. So, a hundred of these? Yeah, so we're going to be putting 50 of these into that tank. No, no, we're not. No, no wait, 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 wait. Here we go. There they are. How many have we got? I think there's about 10. Um, there's nine or 10 in there. Nice little shoal because they get a little bit bigger. So we don't want too many of them. So Matt's thinking that this is an Indian tank technically because it's sure, pea puffers. Yeah. Yeah. So why not keep the fish Indian as well? Exactly. Does that mean we're going to put some of the... Um... I was tempted to put a few of the... Uh... Drake fin bar? Drake, that's it, Drake yeah, fin bar. Because I've got some in my Indian one, haven't I, yeah. as well? That's what I was thinking. So I think that'll be good. Yeah, I'll do a few of those. It's just a bit more interest as well, isn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, a few of those, a few of the glass fish. Uh, we've then got, yeah, we'll, we'll start with that. Start with that. Go with that. Oh, the first fish, eh? It's always an exciting part, the first fish. We've only got like nine or something, and we yeah, might. Yeah, a little shoal of 10, but they get a little bit bigger, so yeah, yeah. it should be a nice little group. Are you ready? I'm ready for the release. Yay, the first fish! Cool. Awesome. Yeah, right, yeah. next, let's keep it moving, let's keep it moving, because you know what the audience is like. We've got a TikTok audience, it's a TikTok world. <laughs> Everything needs to be done in 60 seconds. Go! <laughs> um, what are we... <laughs> what are we going for next, then? Do you want to go Drake Finn Barbs? Little group of them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Three males, six females, something like that? Sounds good glass fish are settled next fish coming in is the draped fins we've got how many what's, what's the male female ratio i've got three males six females so okay. two to one should be good for them i think we'll get a nice bit of displaying yeah okay then release them yay 
and just stop making stupid noises every time I put the fish in. <laughs> well, they've gone and hit us straight away, but that's fine. They, they can do that. They can do that. There's just one lonesome one at the top that he's gone as well now. Yeah, the female. Okay. There you go, female. There you go. Oh, yeah, 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 one. yeah. They'll come. They'll get more comfortable as some more go in. And we're thinking next. What were we thinking, Matt? Danios. The glow light Danio. Yeah, yeah. I think in this tank, a good school of them going back to forwards. They're going to give us that action because the rest of the fish aren't quite well. The, the, the drake fins, yeah, they're yeah, a bit more they're... groupy. Okay, yeah, let's go. Let's go with them. Let's put they're them not in. Officially from India, though. That's the only thing. But I'm happy. That's all right. Are you okay? Because they're yeah, near. It's just a quick hop across the border for them. So, okay, all right. Yeah, they've just gone on holiday. <laughs> well, the Danios are ready. In they go, Matt. I'm going to watch from the side. Yes, that's plenty, Matt. That looks well good. You don't want to overdo it, do you? No, that's it. Oh, yeah, that's a nice little group. Yeah, they're looking, they're looking cool. Moving good <laughs> as well. Oh, that looks nice. So now that all the support fish, we'll call them support fish, <laughs> yeah. not yeah. the feature fish, are in. It's dither fish. Dither, dither, yes. It's uh, time for the main event. Main event. But we've got two groups. We've got, we've got some over on the system over that way, yeah. and then we've got some slightly older more colored up on that way we should do these ones get those ones get and the then ones put first. them all together and then pop and drop cool let's do it all the temperatures are matching anyway aren't they because it's because uh, yeah they're all on the same system so but yeah. that's come out that water has come out of that tank which is heated the same as the system anyway isn't it yeah. so yeah oh we're all good isn't it funny as soon as you put fish in it looks so much better even though they're only tiny so matt has collected up a hundred pea puffers now hear us out a hundred adults is probably too much for that tank. Yeah, you I were saying so. 50 would be a good amount. Yeah, but I because we've got so many it. juveniles... Sorry, I'm interrupting you there. Yeah, it's grateful. <laughs> no, I don't want to say it now. Fine. <laughs> yeah, so you think 50 adults would be perfect for that tank? Yeah, I think so. Just because that would give them space. It's sort of, yeah, one, pit, one fish has got enough territory then, I think. Okay. And then, so we've got a hundred here, but that's because most of these, like 80 of them, are the teeny tiny proper juveniles the the bigger ones with the sort of yellowing on them you can see are still juveniles but they're like slightly bigger so what we're going to do is as everything kind of like grows yep. and you can start sexing male and female exactly. and things pick picking them out and yep. bringing those numbers down yeah this is it we can get a good number of male to female ratio then um and yeah i think it will just be easier to get a good group out of them okay but right, definitely let's go for it i mean let's face it in terms of bio load that is absolutely nothing on the system the <laughs> oh my goodness yeah in terms of bio load that's nothing on the system is it not no when you think that's a 330 litre aquarium there's yeah, hardly anything really going in there it's just it's going to be territory later on but at the yeah. moment there's that look they'll be absolutely fine for a good while how long do you think it'll be until you need to start probably a good six months i would have thought oh okay yeah it might be shorter they grow once they get going they do grow quite quickly but you know yeah we'll just have to keep an eye on them really but that's the good thing with here is we're here daily and paid to look after them yeah exactly <laughs> and they're not that fast either are they no, no they are quite slow and quite dopey you can pick them out quite easily so. ideal yeah let's go for it i mean it's going to be really really fun watching them grow as well and it could be great interest for, for you and other people coming into the shop, seeing it's, those yeah, that behaviour. The cool thing is, we've got a tiny puffer next to a massive puffer. It's going to be like, yeah, yeah. really cool. <laughs> Where is he? Buster's going to have some friends. A hundred friends. Imagine if we just put them in this tank. Look, bust, no, Buster. No, no, they're not doing that. No, Buster. <laughs> <laughs> he nearly jumped out of the tank like free willy. They're not dinner, they're your friend. <laughs> no, I don't, I, think, I don't think we can trust Buster to look after them. No, no, he's not in charge. Right, let's <laughs> put them in the tank. Okay, Matt's letting me have the honours. 100 pea puffers are going in. Please tell me I've pressed record. <laughs> I'm not catching them out. Oh you have my them. goodness, look at that lot. <laughs> oh, they look great. <laughs> That is so cool. They are wicked. That is so cool. <laughs> Look, they're everywhere. And the good thing about pea puffers is the way that they swim is just so random. So it's really interesting. Look, there's just one on his own. Just, just, just having a little mooch around. Then you come down, there's a group. It's going to be a while before they're actually fully settled. Um, but how do they behave in terms of territory, Matt? Do they actually get a place and stay there or do they just... Normally, you'll find that the males are quite territorial. So once they start settling up and maturing, you should find a few little sort of cichlid style, I suppose you would say, um, territories building up. Um, but yeah, I think they'll be, uh, once they settle, I think they'll be absolutely fine. This little group in the middle here is looking so good. Whee! <laughs> the glow lights are in there, right area, just where we want them. 
all of that top section. So we've got stuff going on everywhere on the tank now, which is really cool. Right, Matt's gonna stick some food in now because, you know, why not? <laughs> Feeding fish is always interesting. So you just got blood worm there, yeah? Blood worm and a little bit of brine shrimp as well. Okay, cool. No one want that, no? No, 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 bother, there we go. <laughs> they're, all a bit, they're all a bit shocked that uh, they've just been chucked in this tank and got a buffet of food, but oh, it's all coming round. There we go. A good thing is as well, like if there is any territorial disputes or anything, putting some food in like this would calm it down. Even the little puffers down here are going for it, this little guy. Is oh yeah, <laughs> teeny little puffer. Chasing it, that. Puffers are so funny to watch eat, aren't they? That's so cool. The way they eat little bits of blood worm. Yeah, like spaghetti. <laughs> yeah. Guys, there's food everywhere. You just huddled in the front corner. Yeah. They just come round. Oh, look, this little guy, this little guy seems to have, there we go. That is so small. I am zoomed right in on this as well. Look, look at the size of it next to the, um, the glass fish. So when we originally put the glass fish in, some of them started going for the smaller pea puffers. Remember, we've got those two groups of pea puffers. We've got the slightly larger ones that are nice and yellow, got their sort of adult coloring. And then we've got the young ones, which are still a bit more gray, look a bit smaller and obviously appeared to be a snack. But the good thing is the glass fish only tried once. They took a gulp on the back end of the pea puffers. The puffers blew up, they let go, they didn't try again, so everything is all good now. This can sometimes be a normal thing when you're putting new fish together, testing each other out, but no harm done. Every fish accounted for, no losses. Literally within 10 minutes, everything was all good between all the fish, harmony. So the tank has got lots of carbon and purigen in the filter, and that's to try and take out the tannings. You're still seeing a slight haze to the water. Now to be honest, it's actually quite realistic of some of the rivers that these fish would be in. But that said, as a display tank, you want it crystal. And now that we've got fish in the tank, the bacteria will stop dying off and then growing and dying off again because there is a constant food source. Within a couple of weeks and a few more water changes, the wood would stop leaching so many tannins. Obviously, initial, there's a huge amount being leached into the water. As time goes by, it's just a trickle and the purigen and the carbon will take care of it. The pea puffers are just really, really interesting to watch. They move like no other fish. And what seems to be cool is that straight away, they're finding their own little territories. Now, what you would think would be a good territory for them, turns out, isn't what they're looking for. I see them hovering right on the edges of bits of wood, right out in the open and just defending that area, which looks way more difficult than if they found a little cave somewhere, but that's what they seem to like. And I really do think that the glow light Danios were the perfect choice to go with them. They sort of stay in their top area completely out of the way and the pea puffers aren't bothered by them at all. The mini puffers seem to be only interested in their own kind defending their little areas. And again, it's only really the yellow, bigger puffer fish that are doing this at the moment. We definitely will need to whittle down the numbers as time goes by and the smaller fish grow bigger. In the final shots here, you can see that the tank is looking a little bit dirtier than at the start. That's just normal detritus and a little bit of algae growing on the surfaces. Really good for the tank. But it will be time to add in some cleaner fish. We'll be adding in some bristlenose plecos and some otosynchlus as well. They really, really do help with the cleanup. Not strictly from the area that these other fish are from, but you know, as I always say, we can let the cleaner fish go. We did want pandagara in there, but there was none in stock. We will be adding them at a later date though. They'll suit the tank perfectly. So this has been a really fun build, a little bit different to usual because there's not tons of stem plants and things like that. We wanted to make sure that the fish was really on display with some really good accents of the plants. Now the crypts will creep, the grass will creep, you know, all of the mosses will get bigger. There will be more plants in this tank as time goes by. But the idea of it was like a low maintenance setup that does showcase pea puffers. I think we've achieved that and we're gonna keep it looking awesome moving forward. Come to shop and visit if you want to see it in real life. All the tanks that I've shown you look so much better in real life when you're actually there. Well worth a visit.